Hello and welcome back to my channel. On today's What the Frack is Wrong with America episode, we are going to talk about why America hates its own poor so bad. I mean, like, doesn't deserve clean drinking water, can die in the streets because they don't have health care so bad. All right. So today, Virginia did something really amazing. They voted through committee to put a bill on the floor for, um, clean drinking water being a human right and people are really upset saying that well they can just collect rainwater in Virginia you cannot collect rainwater by the way or they can just get a well or uh, for the people in the Appalachians who live near contaminated streams and creeks well they can just walk a couple of miles and find clean drinking water there we are talking about some of the poorest country or some of the poorest counties in Virginia that don't have access to running water and people think that that is perfectly okay and they don't understand the the long-term implications of not having something as basic as clean water when you go to apply for a job and you look unshowered unshaved and your clothes are dirty do you think you're going to get that job no so and if you have a job and you show up and your clothes are not clean and pressed and whatever, and you look dirty because you haven't had a shower in a couple of days because you don't have running water, you're gonna get fired, which perpetuates the whole, you know, you get fired, you don't have money, you still can't get the clean water that you need. You also can't pay things like your power bill or buy food or have gas money to, you know, find a new job. Um, you don't have the gas money to go get food, so now you're starving. You are, still don't have clean water. Uh, you no longer have power. How do you expect people to pull themselves out of poverty if we don't give them the basic necessities that they need to do that? Like, again, clean water. This is something that we talk about third world countries not having, yet we won't provide it in our own country. One of the wealthiest countries in the entire world. Tell me why that is. Why you do not think that children deserve clean drinking water. Why you do not think that children ha should have access to education in the middle of a pandemic. You would rather send them, and this is another huge thing going on here in Virginia, Wi-Fi is a luxury in places in the Appalachia. And virtual learning is how a lot of places are doing it right now. And we're saying that, well, they should just go back to in-person learning. You understand that you would pack these kids into buses for hour-long bus rides to go into overcrowded schools that are underfunded and won't have the appropriate equipment to protect these kids from getting the coronavirus and then bringing it home to their families who, if they are working, get the coronavirus, they then have to lose out on two weeks worth of pay. And for someone who's surviving paycheck to paycheck to simply provide basics like gas to get to work, electricity, and food on your table, that's life threatening. And again, this is in a country that is supposedly the wealthiest in the entire world with the best of everything, yet we still cannot provide people with safe housing, food, and again, running water. You're fighting me on running water for some of the poorest people in America, and you want to tell me that's not a human right? You get that other countries are laughing at us, right? Other countries can tax around the same rate we do and provide health care, food, education, and running water for their poorest citizens. We don't get to say that we're the best at anything until we can provide the basic needs for those in society that need it the most. And it's not just the poor people of the Appalachia that suffer from things like this. 
the homeless community, where we treat them like they are subhuman and subpar. We walk by them without looking at them, without acknowledging their existence. And when you try to open up a conversation about, hey, we should help the homeless, people are like, well, they're drug addicts and they're just going to spend it on drugs or they're just going to spend it on alcohol. They're still human beings. And I don't know where in our culture we lost the idea that human beings should be treated like human beings, like people that matter. I don't care if someone is a drug addict. If they're living on the street and they're sick and I've only got $5 on me, I'm going to give that person the last $5 that I have because I'm lucky enough to have a safe place to sleep at night. I'm lucky enough to have food and clothing and everything else that I need to survive. But yet we are letting millions of Americans suffer in below the poverty line because we just don't feel like they deserve it. And it's incredibly infuriating and frustrating that that is how we've decided that this country should go. While giving billions of dollars in bailouts to Wall Street, to the, to the richest companies, to CEOs who make millions of dollars, they get these huge tax write-offs for things like jets and private boats and all sorts of other things or we're letting millions of children starve. And in this pandemic, it has only highlighted and deepened the divide between the wealthy and the not wealthy in this country. Yet, we're still shooting ourselves in the foot, not providing the basic care that our citizens need. So I ask you again, why in the world, in a first world country, that has a billion dollar economy, are we not providing for our poorest citizens? Are we not taking care of the millions of children who need basic things like running water and electricity to go to school, to survive, to better themselves, to pull themselves out of poverty? It doesn't make sense and it's not okay. And I'm, I'm very proud to be a Virginian today to say that they had started the process of saying that water is a basic human right. And I hope, beyond hope, that other, other states follow and we provide food and basic care for the citizens that are under our care. All right, that's all I got to say on that, guys. I will see you later.